Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're going to show you how to set up and maintain a dedicated DCS World server. We're going to be using the Skatezilla DCS Updater GUI, which is just an amazing piece of kit. It's something I use every day and you should too to manage your DCS because DCS is a very complicated program. But RC here to help me say hello RC. Hello. First thing I need to show is how to install the Skatezilla GUI. So the link to this will be in the video description. I'm just going to go from Google install Skatezilla Zilla, DCS GUI. And it's going to be that one there. And this is the link that I will uh, link to you. Scroll down here. You can see the versions here. The top one is always going to be the uh, most recent one. Click download and it will download a zip file. From that zip file, grab an executable, put it on your desktop. And that's literally what I've done. That is the executable. Okay, we're going to click on it now. Ping. Obviously, if you're going to be a dedicated server, uh, you must ensure that you have DCS installed on your computer as normal, whether that is a open beta or whether it's stable. That's up to you. Most people seem to be open beta nowadays. All credit goes to Skatezilla. He's made this program and he's a very clever, generous guy, obviously, and lots of people rely on him. So the first thing is people tend to have various builds of DCS on their computer. I've just got one. It's an open beta build. And you must ensure that you have that selected in this box here. Without a build selected, you can't do anything. So let me just select that build again. Now we can do things. This is not a full tutorial of how to use the Skatezilla GUI. I've got another video on that in the DCS Explained playlist, but we're just going to look at things relevant to dedicated servers. So terrains and tech modules. Obviously, you want to install any of the terrains that you want to run on a dedicated server. And are these, did you say these are free or are for a dedicated server, RC? Yes, you can download them without having to purchase them uh, for dedicated server use. Roger. And is there anything special I have to do to do that? Or can I literally just click on the ones that I want to install? Just click on the ones you want to install. They'll be red yep. if you don't have if them. If I don't have them. And green if and, I have them already, yeah. And, and then you hit the uh, install selected modules. Roger, which is up there. And that would install them for you. Right, so that's good stuff to know. I'm just going to get rid of all of that. So that would install the terrains that I would need, which are free for the dedicated server. Next thing that I am going to do is is go to dedicated server settings and we want standard server mode on we want to disable the 3d rendering for this computer which is the dedicated server we want to disable dcs vr rendering for this server we want to enable the uh, web gui server mode and i don't even know what that is so i'm just going to leave the fifth one do you know what that is that's for if you're running multiple dcs servers on one machine which is not recommended Understood. Now, when our server is running, we will link to it through our local web GUI. We're not ready to do that yet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the dedicated server. So up we go. Ping. So that's as far as you'll see. The dedicated server, that's DCS now running, and that's all you'll ever see. 3D rendering's turned off. So uh, the next thing we need to, to do is hook into that from our Skatezilla web GUI. So we're going to go task manager back to Skatezilla. We're going to launch our local web GUI. Okay, we now we need to connect to our server. Uh, my web port is 8088. We'll never have to change that as far as I'm aware, RC. Nope. Okay, it's seen that the server's con detected. If the server is not detected, that's because the server is still loading. It can take a few minutes to load, so I'm going to connect to it. We're now hooked in to my dedicated server, which is running. And this is the web GUI. This is where I manage everything from. So where do we start? Um, here is the uh, the server name and information. Here is a list of missions. And here is down here is the players. Here is game chat. And I can interact from here into game chat to talk to the guys on my server. Here is server data. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to set the basic information or, or options of our server up. Our server is currently paused and it's that far into the mission. So I'm going to go cogwheels. I'm going to go the name of my server. I'm going to make it Grim Reaper's private password. I'm going to make it 123. Max players is 25. The IP address is that. Obviously, you can't change that. That's that's, that's my computer um, on the internet. Port is an interesting one. Uh, 10308. DCS, I believe, always uses 10308 as a port. For this to work, for everything here um, that I'm showing you to work, you need to enable port forwarding on your particular computer or, or, or I don't think it's your, it's your computer it's your 
uh, router, isn't it? Yes. Now, a lot of you asked for a tutorial of how to do that, and I can't give you that because that tutorial is specific to your actual router that you use. So I can go make a video showing you how I port forward on my router, which is, if I look over here, it's a, it's a open reach. 10, 27, something or other. It basically, it, you guys won't have that. So it will be specific to my particular router. Uh, so you guys need to learn for yourself how to set up port forwarding for the particular router that you have. And you can just, the best way I always say is just find out the name of that physical router you've got in your house, check out the password and the code on it, go into Google, Google how to uh, port forward for that particular type of router. And that's the best advice. Anything you want to add to port forwarding? Like you said, everyone is different. Mm, which, so. which is why I can't give you that video. Integrity check. Do I want to turn that on or off? Uh, advanced. Uh, all the various options that you're used to if you've seen um, uh, a, a service dedicated or non-dedicated. Um, so you should all know that by now. Cancel. Um, if I save it, then it will reset the server because I would have actually changed. Uh, the server so i'm going to cancel in this case but you'll need to save i'm going to resume that so the server is no longer a pause it's now active it's three minutes and 22 in here is our list of missions these are the missions that are on my hard disk that i can use i can loop them so they'll go okay again and again or i can shuffle them in which case it all is it will that just randomly shuffle between missions obviously yep. we can see that this one here my c drive temp.miz is now running and if I wanted to run this other one, Tunnel Run Competition, I could run that. If I wanted to add new missions from my hard drive, if I wanted to delete missions from this bar, and I'm not sure what that is, save missions. That's to save a list. If you have, like, say, 10 missions in a list and you want to save that list for the future, you can save the list. Roger. Okay. And next, reload it. Next, I want to interact. Want, next, I want to prove that this works and interact with my customers. Uh, so, RC, would you go and try and locate my dedicated server and jump onto it, please? Yep. Okay, coming in. Um, just double check. Ah, right. Um, right, and that's it. That's RC. He's, he's, he's connecting at the moment. I'll just wait until it collects. Okay, he's on the blue side. Uh, I can type a message to him. So, hello, RC. Spelt wrong. That's going to go through into game chat, into DC's game chat, and he can respond if he feels like responding. <laughs> There you go, he's responded. Okay, um, now if I don't like the look of him, and let's face it, I don't, I could go here, I could uh, I could ban him or I can kick him, and that's just how you gotta treat your RC. Um, up here, we've got our server layout or our list of players, where we can see it's just easier to see our players and we can see online and banned. Here, I've got chat here, so I can see the chat and see what people are saying. So at the top left here, we've got here, which is basically what you've been seeing. Here is down. That's a log. That's just a log of what's happening on the server. A bit too complex for me. And what language we want it to be in. Oh, whoops, let's go back, shall we? There. Um, anything you can think that I've missed off RC? No, I think we covered everything on that. Right. So, RC, if you'd be good enough to disconnect, and I will shut the dedicated server down. Why don't you go ahead and kick me? Oh, you want me watch <laughs> this. I can un see your RC. Reason. Oh, I've got to be so politically correct nowadays. Um, <laughs> um, uh, go. We got rid of him, ladies and gentlemen. We got rid of him. We got rid of him. Kicked. That's exactly Go. what he deserves. That's it. I'm going to stop my server now because I want it stopped. Server pause. And to shut down, we've got a, the only way to do it, and I don't know if you can see this on my screen. I'll go to task manager. Um, sorry, I should really shut this GUI down first. I'm just going to shut it down. Task manager. And I'm going to go to DCS. And it will be low usage at the moment there. Get rid of it like that. That's the only way we know to get rid of it. That's it. We come out of here. And that's all done. So that is how to use the Skate Dealer DCS Updater GUI to run a dedicated server. That's the way we recommend to do it with the port forward as we've shown. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. It's pretty simple. Hope that's no. useful and see you later.